You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Picture me folding, what? never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap. No, if I wouldn't select, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a fab NPY used to be. Uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Ay, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Ay, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Ay, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. So, I'm back home. I know. I look really crappy today. But um, I did say I was going to come back and fold laundry, do laundry, steam clean something, and um, edit a video. So I haven't edited the video yet, but I'm about to look up how to cook hamburgers in the oven. Like, I mean, I know how to do that. That's easy. I mean, I'm, is it possible? I want to see if there's any videos of people actually doing it because I really don't feel like standing there. Wait a minute. I don't have to do that. I have a freaking... Um, it's not a George Foreman, but it's a grill thing my mom bought me for inside. I think I'm going to use it for that. But here goes a little princess I'm drinking her milk. So she has um, a facial rash. It is from being a new baby. And I am letting it dry up, but it does look like it's just overly dry. Oh, baby acne it comes from the mother's hormones. and um, some get it bad, some don't, some don't get it at all. But, um, yeah, hers is not that bad, but I just don't like to see it drying up. Say hi, everybody. So she just woke up from a nap. Mumsy was keeping an eye on her for me. Mumsy's so helpful. She loves Mumsy. Be smiling at her like crazy. Yes, when I say she be smiling at Mumsy, she be cheesing like crazy at Mumsy. As soon as she sees Mumsy, her face just starts lighting up and she gets so excited. So she like loves the heck out of Mumsy. Um, and it'd be the funniest thing because she just keep going and keep smiling at her. Mumsy will smile at her and then she'll just try to say something in her little baby language. And then, you know, I have a lot to do. I have things that I have to do today. And I'm really trying to figure out where I'm going to hang this picture up 
of for my son this really nice rug. You are so messy. You are. You are messy, messy, messy. Oh, that was a big burp. You are so messy. Where's your socks at, huh? Where's your socks? Did they come off? You got your pigs out? What the heck? Whose little piggies are out? Are you going to the bathroom? You better not. That's not nice to do. Did you say hi to everyone? Oh, is that you saying hi? Hi, everyone. Oh, messy, messy. Hmm. Let my mom see your little face. So, whose piggies are out? Hi. Oh, oh. Is she really passing gas on camera? That's so rude. That's no, you, you, that's not ladylike. Hello. So you see a little rash on her face? It's drying up now, and there's a little bit like on her chest and so forth. About to change her little undershirt and stuff, but um, yeah, she just woke up. Somebody else is over there snoring. You want to say hi? Big eyes. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Who's a dirty buns? Hi. 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 Yeah, I love you too. Hi. Who's a dirty buns? Hi. 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 We are. Yes, we are. Hello.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's a new one. Good morning, good morning. So here we go on another road trip. We're going on a road trip today. No, we just going to school. We just going to school. Hey, Kate, your dog hair is in my nose. That's not your dog hair. Okay, so I see a white hair in my nose. You know, pancake is white. Girl, that's a gray hair. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Thank you, honey. Oh my God, thank you. Oh. I don't know what it's got me sneezing like this. I don't need no tissue because my nose is not running. And honey, I got pl plenty of tissue up in my glove compartment. I think I got the whole stack of Dunkin' Donuts napkins up there because every time I go, which is every day, I, I grab me a few. Everybody always saying in my household that's stealing when I when I take like a nice size stack of napkins. This is not stealing, okay? This was from yesterday and I got me a nice stack. Um, I don't think it's called stealing. I pay for my coffee. There's no limit on how many napkins you can take, right? And am I the only person that does that? Like, yes, I will take quite enough, not a few, but enough to satisfy my napkin habit. Like, that's me, straight up. Like, I ain't gonna front for nobody because you never know when they can come in handy. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I was making some pork chops and I realized, damn, I don't have any napkins. I didn't have any napkins in the house, which because um, Dollar Tree did not, Dollar 25 cent store, tree, <laughs> didn't have any they didn't have any paper plates they didn't have any napkins so i had to go without i said okay i probably got a stack at home meaning a stack of the dollar tree napkins that i purchased under my kitchen sink because i always do keep quite a few but i didn't have any under the sink got around to making some pork chops and then realized damn i don't even have no paper bag to soak up the grease off these pork chops then i realized hold up let me go in the car and get some of these freaking Dunkin' Donuts napkins. And they came in handy. Girl, let me tell you, one time I had a whole, I have like this nice little bucket. It's not even a bucket. It's um like a, it's just a, I don't know what you want to call it. It's a tray. It's not really a tray, but it's a little, it's a, a storage, a little bin. A, a, I don't know, it was for the Dollar Tree. But, you know, you could put, you know, the little plastic containers that they have. And that's where all the napkins are at. Girl. I had one filled up with nothing but Dunkin' Donuts napkins, okay? Everybody in my house be like, that's stealing, that's stealing. It's not stealing because I don't go in there and just pick them up. I go in there and buy my coffee and take a nice handful. There's no limit. It don't say take one napkin, okay, or take two. It don't say one napkin per item. I'm going to take what I need because you never know when they're going to come handy. Am I the only person that does that? I'm pretty sure I am not. If you guys are um, a napkin bandit, then let me know. Last night, the baby slept really good, you know, really, really well. Um, I made some curry chicken. We ate that. It was. It was. Well, thank you. It was bussin' bussin'. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's always bussin' bussin'. You can either buy chicken leg meat already cut, um, you know, like deboned or just cut it yourself off. Um, and I bought um, the curry chicken simmer sauce and it's just a simmer sauce you don't even have to add any curry if you don't want to and you just cook the chicken up get the juices in with it put the simmer sauce let that cook for like a few minutes girl it's delicious and serve it over some rice okay.
you back there? Hello? Why are you all the way back there? Why? You want everybody to see you in your cute little coat? You're supposed to be up here with me. Oh. I'm going to get the um, iced coffee. Then I'm going to go check my post office box. I know now I look sick as a dog because I didn't sneeze my brains away. My daughter's doing good. You know how you just want to have so much belief and faith in someone, but you have been not let down because I hate to use that word or disappointed, but you know, I've been setbacks. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have a setback, right? So, but you know, and I want, and I want to have all of that, but then sometimes you feel like, you know, like, okay, like you had a cheating boyfriend, right? He was like, I ain't gonna cheat you no more. And then you see all the good signs that he hasn't been cheating on you and stuff. And it's like, oh, should I let my guard down now? That's how I feel because, but I don't want, but you don't want to like reveal that you've let your guard down some because you might get put back in the setback you, you understand what i'm saying like and i just say god is good like straight up god is good you guys like i am not a holy roller i don't even know all the scriptures in the bible okay if that may be one or two some people have it so memorized that it's amazing like i find it to be like wow you guys can remember the exact scripture everything like i find that to be amazing i praise god and i'm happy and thankful and grateful for everything so um, I just pray that she continues with her journey and just allows God to guide her. Because he can guide you, but you got to allow him to guide you. You always got to have faith and belief in something positive. So that way it helps. It, it helps. Like straight up, it helps. You know, but on a positive note, I feel so good. I feel happy. Um, you know, like my life isn't the best life in the world and I'll take it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a whole lot and maybe I can share my experience with everyone. I don't know why she's crying. I think she feels like, oh, you gonna get out, get out, leave here. But uh, why is you pacing back and forth? But, you know, and I'm glad that I'm able to share my experience with everyone. And like I said, my life is what it is and I take it for what it is, you know. And I just said to my son the other day on the phone, I was like, you know, I wish that um, I could just wake up and all of this was a bad dream. Like, I wish I could go downstairs and my son Wuzzle would be in his room and then Tati was in the next room and none of this ever occurred and I could just vanish that dude that used to live with me. I could just vanish him out of my life forever. I said, I wish I could just, you know, change that, you know, and I know I'm not the only person who wish they could wake up from something and just, it just not be that way, you know? So I know that my life is what it is and it is set in stone. It is what it is for a reason and you got to take it for what it is. Um, so I just, I'm just, I'm just really grateful that I'm able to get through a whole lot of this shenanigans, like straight up. Let me go in here and get my iced coffee. My, I'm cold, bro. Excuse me. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm allergic to. I wonder if it's the fur on a pancake's coat that got me sneezing like this. What? Oh, no, thank you. I don't eat that stuff. My mom does not eat this. Yeah, I don't, I know he'll eat it, but I don't eat this stuff. Thank you though. Looking like your mother sitting there. Let's see you. Crispy. I said crispy, yeah. That's better than the other sandwich. Mm, that's better. Right? You got chicken McNugget Happy Meal? Ooh. So cute. Is it good? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Look at those Jerron. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm the best to ever do it, the best to ever do it. Why are you recording? I am too. Hold on. <laughs> I, need, I need some footage for my new um, intro. You, know? you just want to get me in there because I'm cool. I look cool. I look good and stuff, you know. True that. I'm a nice fella, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm pretty much everybody's role model, you know. That's, you know, I'm a nice guy, you know. You got to get to know me, you know. Nice guy. Uh, yeah, that sums it up. That's all I got about me. That's all he got about him. You're just a nice, great guy. Tinky, 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 tinky. <laughs> no, but that's all he keeps talking about all day long. And JJ, like best friend. I know he 
you're so happy to only see them. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. What's up, you guys? Okay, I like this t-shirt. So I know I got on a different Renan, um, excuse me, a different modern Rocco's Modern Life t-shirt. This one I actually got from uh, Five Below, but the collar is like it feels like a turtleneck. Your t-shirt collar is all the way up on your neck like this. I had this t-shirt for months and just took the tags off because I honestly I forgot about it. But, you know, far below where everything is $5 and below, which is a lie. Just like saying it's the Dollar Tree store when it's $1.25, okay? It's not the same thing anymore. They have stuff in there for $5.99, $10. They have stuff. They need to just say 5 and above, okay? Because the stuff that's below $5 is like a, a bar of candy or what have you, you know. You can always get the t-shirts for $5, but I guarantee you, like, next year or two, it's going to be like $6. He don't know what side of the street he wanted. Now he want to be behind me. So what I tell y'all, what I, what I be telling y'all. Y'all probably think that I be going crazy or I just be complaining too much about the people's driving. Or y'all probably think that like I think I, I know everything about driving or like if I was a driving instructor. I just know bad driving when I see it because it's right in front of me. After I drop them off, I have to drive to Phoenix, Arizona, Helping Hands. So it's for F-O-S-T-E-R kids. I just say it. I'm going to spell it out to you guys. Got to go pick up a crib. They give you a brand new crib. Okay, C-R-I-B for the baby. <laughs> Told y'all I should have been a rapper in my past life. I should have been a rapper instead of a, a wig guru. I'm telling you guys. But anyway, so I'm going to go pick up a brand new crib that they have for her. And that's what they do. I, I was telling you guys that before. When you have to do these type of things for F-O-S-T-E-R-I-N-G, there is different programs and such that help you. You know what I'm saying? That help you. They get... um with certain things. They don't help you with everything, but they will give you, like, brand new cribs. Uh, today I'm on a roll. Like, today I'm definitely on a roll. I got my little fake ponytail on. Someone asked me in the comments in the chat, was this my own hair? Girl, I wish. That's why I'm gonna call this, this pony. I wish. Because I wish it was, girl. As I was saying, it doesn't necessarily have to be a baby. The child doesn't have to be a newborn for you to be referred to them or for them to give you um, things. It can be a child of any age that, you know, you have kinship over, and I think I did explain what kinship was to you guys, which is when, you know, um, you are a relative of the child that has been displaced from their parents, okay? So I'm considered a kinship, but I'm also considered to be a foster parent if I was to, you know, foster another child that isn't related to me, okay? Because I have taken the course, but I don't want to, um, and it's not that I don't want to, but I feel like I have my hands full as it is. So I'm going to take care of my own grandchildren. And they'll give you like uh, fire extinguishers, one for each level in your house, or as many as you need, depending on the size of the house. They give you all the safety protocol things that you need, like for the cabinets and everything. They give you all of that stuff, smoke alarms, which is amazing because, you know, that stuff is pricey. So they do provide all of those things for you. Also hygienic things, toothpaste, toothbrushes, even though you have that already, but they still like to set you off, like, you know, with a decent amount of stuff. So that way, you know, you'll, you'll be able to provide for the children. And sometimes what happens is somebody that may have like a child, they might just get the child automatically or like really quick you know you may not have no knowledge that you're going to be fostering a child you know they may call you in the middle of the night and say hey listen uh, can you take this child and that's what happens and so that's where Arizona Helping Hands will step in so it's not a place that you can just go to and say well I need this and I need that you know you have to be referred to them like through your case manager during during Christmas they'll give gifts to the kids um they'll give clothes to the kids but yeah so it takes me 32 minutes to get there so i'm gonna go ahead and get my eye my cold brew and then i will see you guys in a second all right guys so it says i'm gonna get there exactly at 8 59 a.m i get oh because it's 8 24 though you know what i'm saying it is 8 24 it takes 35 minutes it said i don't know but listen let me tell you something i am i'm not a scary driver because i i'll drive you know what i'm saying the one thing though i don't like is to get lost i don't like to get lost regardless of where i go i've had a bad experience in my childhood when i got lost okay when i, when I tell you it was a bad experience it was a bad experience i was coming from a choir not a choir rehearsal but a choir concert in middle school, I hear they call it middle school. I got so used to calling it middle school, but a concert for my music class. So we were singing at Carnegie Hall, okay? 
And at the time I was living in Brooklyn, we got a ride to Carnegie Hall via school bus. And we were supposed to get ourselves home from there. You either could take your behind home on the train or, you know, some maybe family came and got you. So I don't know what made me think that I knew how to get from there. But, you know, when you grew up, when you grow up in New York City, you know a lot about travel, public transportation, taking buses, taking, you know, subway station and trains. You know how to do that. You just it's just second nature for you. Your parents probably might have taught you or you just catch on. You just you just know. You know what I'm saying? You just know how to get where you need to get to. And that was me. I always knew how to get around. I think I was probably like about 13 at the time. Concert was over. Carnegie Hall, my little music class, music choir. I lived in Bedford-Stuyvesant on Halsey Street, okay? I got on the train. I don't know. I cannot remember right now what train it was, but I do remember that I got off on a stop called Halsey Street, okay? Now, when I seen that stop, I do remember that it didn't look familiar to me. Like, this is not the stop that I normally get off to go home when I'm with my mom. But it says Halsey Street, so I'm going to get off, of course, right? I walk up the um, steps, and nothing at all looked familiar. When I tell you nothing at all looked familiar, the only money that I had was enough to get on the train in the first place. I think it was probably like a dollar, or maybe it wasn't even a dollar. It might have been like 90 cents, a token. I had a token. And you know, there wasn't no freaking cell phones back there, right? The only thing that they had was beepers, pages, and I didn't have one. And if you did have one, you had to have a quarter or two dimes and a nickel or whatever to use the pay phone. When I got off, nothing at all looked familiar to me. And I was, you know, I said, well, maybe if I walk down, I start, you know, looking a little bit familiar. And the only reason why I felt this way is because, you know, in New York, there are so many different subway entrances okay i started walking and i kept walking and walking and nothing looked familiar i realized i was lost and it was dark okay it was nighttime it was dark and remember i said i was like 13 i remember my mother telling me she was going to meet me at the train station when i get off so she can walk with me down the street like you know the train station wasn't that far from where we lived at we lived in a brownstone i just kept walking and i didn't have any money i remember this um older black woman she was at a bus stop okay and i asked her what way was you know should i go to get home and the lady i know that i don't remember her exact words but i remember the lady telling me basically like i couldn't walk it i had to get on um public transportation. I can't remember if she said a bus or a train. I can't remember my exact words, but I do remember telling her that I didn't have money because she gave me a um, transfer and she walked me to the bus station. She took me to the bus station, um, to the bus, bus stop, and she gave me a transfer, okay? She had a transfer in her hand and she gave it to me. And she, I remember she telling the bus driver, I don't know the exact words because it was so long ago, but she told the bus driver, let me off at a certain spot. When I got off the bus, it was by this laundromat by where we live at. And I would always go to this laundry on the weekends. Fucking small ass laundromat. You know, your parents ever take you, make you go to the laundromat, like, you know, as a kid. I mean, this is kids, this is, this is, this is surviving in New York City. Okay, this is survival in New York City. But I remember getting off at that stop right next to the laundromat. The laundromat was exactly on the corner of that long-ass brownstone block. I said brownstone block. Long-ass block that we lived on, okay? It was at the very end corner, and you go around the corner. The corner store was right there. Then you go around that corner, and there goes the laundromat. So the bus stop was right there, and it let me off right there. When I got off the bus, I know my mom was waiting for me at the train station. And the train station is actually a block and a half from the bus stop. I knew where that was at because that's where I lived at. I had to go to the train station and get my mom or meet her there still because she was still waiting for me. She was so scared and crying when I got there because she didn't know what happened. That was the worst experience. All I know is she just was hugging me and then we walked off. Okay, I don't remember the rest of that. But that was the worst experience I've ever had in my entire life of being lost. Like, I didn't, I know, I remember that I didn't think I was ever going to see my mom again. But that was the worst experience of my life, being lost like that. I never forget that. That's why I don't like getting lost at all. I don't like getting lost. Um, I don't take other people's um, driving instructions or directions. I just don't. Pancake, why are you sitting back there like you in trouble? Come up here. Come on. Come up here in your spot. Why are you sitting back there like you're on punishment? Penny, come on. Come up here. Now you're not going to move up here because the car is moving. I don't know why she's sitting back there like that, like she's in trouble. But you want your bed? Here, how about if I put your bed back there for you? Okay, how about that? There you go.
jacket on you huh hi hi hello hi hi what you laughing at what you laughing at but i so funny looking you got a piece of lint on your lips am i funny looking you want to say hi to everybody say hi everybody it's me say hi say hi everybody yeah got you a crib right there Go sleep it. Go sleep in it tonight. 
My mom got to put it together first. Maybe we'll have Uncle Shump come over and put it together. Hi. We always laughing at me, boy. Hello, honey. Hello. I missed you, too. I missed you, too. Yes. It's your little cute self. Hello. Hello. We got a hat on today. Looking all spiffy spiff. Yeah. It's your little big head. It's your little big head. Uh, 